David here, and I'm about to attempt something that's a little bit stupid, but not so stupid if you have preparation and you know to turn back if things get a little bit hairy. So we're gonna go to Courthouse Rock. This is not an official trail of the park. It is unmaintained, it is off the maps, um, but with a little bit of research, you can find out how to get here. And so we're gonna give it a try. We're gonna go on an unmaintained trail, see how far we can make it. Thankfully, All Trails has us uh, pinpointed on the right spot, which is great. And so we're gonna take a look. So come on for the adventure. There's a waterfall here, and it's absolutely amazing.
All right, so Courthouse Rock Trail, we'll call it, it's unofficial. Um, solid five out of five. 10 out of 10, five stars. This thing is the real deal. This is the adventure. Thankfully, it's a short dive into the back country. It's not that hard to find your way, especially when you get higher up in the Rodendon tunnels and uh, it's kind of hard to see if the trail turns or not. Um, I think the, the, general, the general rule of thumb is that it turns, but you want to look for these little cairns, these little rock uh, formations that will guide you, that will let you know when to turn. And if you, if you don't even want to look for those, uh, all trails, the app. I have my phone on airplane mode, and the whole time my position has been very well aligned with the trail. There was one time down below when it seemed like the trail continued going flat for a while, and it did not. It, it was supposed to turn. And I noticed I was going back towards the road, I could see the traffic, and I'm like, no, that's not the way. So I turned back, checked all trails, and sure enough, I saw the correct way to go. So if you need a trail to be perfectly cleared and maintained uh, to be a five out of five, you're not gonna like this trail. Uh, I'm six foot three, and I've been ducking under debris the whole time. Uh, you know, I'm crossing over blowdowns, but the funny part about the blowdowns is you're gonna see these very well smoothed sections of them because lots of people are doing this trail. I do not know why this is not still a maintained uh, Great Smoky Mountain National Park Trail. It has a waterfall. It has a rock formation. It has an optional extension up to Quilliam's Cave. Uh, this has got views of the Bullhead in Balsam Point. Why, why is this not a thing? I don't know. This, this is awesome. This is an awesome trail. So uh, I'm not going to publish where the trailhead is just because if, if you shouldn't be off trail, off the map, then I don't want you to be. I don't want you to go there. And so I'm not gonna make that easier for you to do. If you should, and you can handle yourself, and you make good choices, you'll be able to figure it out. <laughs> you'll be able to look at maps, look at write-ups that people have done. I'm gonna do a write-up on all trails and kind of leave some hints about where to find it. Um, but it's not that hard to find. And once you do, um, adventure time, man, go for it. But just know that it's you and uh, everything out here. I went on a sunny, clear day in the winter, so it is not hard for me to see things and find the trail and, and get a sense of my bearings. At all times, I was able to look to the east and see the Mont LeConte formation. So anyway, I'm gonna turn the phone off because I have some uh, maneuvering to do, including crossing a creek. There is a creek crossing. Um, and it's a high water day, so there's that too. But this, this is it, this is the trail, this is awesome. So highly, highly recommend if you belong out here, if you've trained, um, it's very steep. It is very steep, so be aware of that. But this is it, Courthouse Rock Trail, thumbs up, five out of five stars.